What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman One with part 9 of the Ender Lilies playthrough. In this video we are going to explore and search for the Abyss and hopefully reach this new area called the Stockade. So without further ado, let's get started. So the key to this area is coming from the, uh, the Dryad Lake and now that we have acquired the Dash uh, we should have an, the ability to get to this area. So we are going to do everything we can to avoid the enemies on the way there. And just get a quick and straight path to this new area. We had explored previously, uh, but for some reason it never occurred to me that I could just use the... Uh, <laughs> I could just use... Hold on. Boop my dash ability so that I could uh, leverage the iframes and get past the spike. So on my lunch break today, <laughs> I was like, let me test out a theory because I couldn't uh, for the life of me figure out how to get past it. And I was like, are we going to get any ability that gives us temporary in invincibility or what? So then I did this <laughs> and I realized you can dash through these underwater mines that are uh, indestructible otherwise. So we now have a path to get through and that deals so much damage any mistake here is incredibly costly so fortunately we're able to get through and uh, whoa those move um, with the uh, dash I'm really excited about that secret let's heal again ooh that's not good I can't stay here any longer, but I can't move. There's only pain. Yeah, I know. I got stabbed by like 10 of them. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> oh, God. I made it. Ugh. Boop. All right. Where's my way out? So this is awesome. I'm so glad that I tried this during lunch because I was just I was just so shocked. I was floored. I was like, where do I go next? I was stumped, you know? And uh, fortunately, I just got a little creative and I was like, well, let's try to do this. I got a little desperate more so than creative, actually. And uh, it ended up working out. This area is still quite difficult to navigate, though. Uh, not easy by any means, so... I don't have any health left. I might actually die if I get hit again. I did. So, I was going to say, let me focus. But, no, that's not going to happen. This time, we know to tread a lot more softly because of the uh, the perils of that area. But, yeah. So, that's a pretty long area. Um, and I imagine that it ends with us going towards the right. Because there is a um, unexplored route. Which is indicated by those, uh, those red dots. So, we'll be checking those out as well. But, first, let's get to this new area. And then... Once we're there, we'll explore and see if there's any goodies. Um, pick up everything we can, of course, and then we'll see if there's if we've gained any new abilities. What we'll do is we'll leverage those to then explore another area. Hopefully, we find the mask. Uh, that is something that I know exists because we uh, the Umbral Knight actually made mention of it whenever we we're in the uh, the laboratory area. So let's try this again and try not to take nearly as much damage. This area is very difficult, actually, to navigate. Um, you got to be very careful. Let's go through. No need to dodge unnecessarily, that's for sure. I thought it was just going to be the one, dude. How funny is that? Oh, gosh. Okay. Look at us go. Yeah. Those actually seem to go back and forth in a pattern. I thought they just were sentient and coming at us, but it doesn't seem that way. I wonder if I... It seems like I already got the blight. I gotta watch him closely. He's gonna come back. This little guy's got an attitude. Okay. Alright. Easy does it. This area is absolutely no joke. Good thing we can spam it. Ooh. No. Shit. That's not good. 
we've got one more attempt. Oh, gosh, okay. I'm scared now. Oh, gosh, I'm trying to focus. That's a secret. Yes, I love secrets. We got the amulet fragment. Hopefully that five <laughs> plus life is enough to uh, help us survive this. Ooh, I want to survive two hits. I can only survive one at this point. And that is not quite enough. Woo! We got all the secrets in this area. That's good. Eek. Eek. Yay, we did it. I need a respite, please. We're in the stockade. Look at us go. What a beautiful little area. Those are called gloom glow flowers. How they flourish despite it all. They glow oddly luminous no matter how dark and gloomy the environs. Looking at them at night helped ease my dispirited slumbers. Someone else I knew was fond of their luster as well. I wonder who that may be. Let's read. Executioner's Vow. In the darkness of the night, our shadow protects land's end. We are the judge and executioners of the sinners who lay buried in the depths of earth. We hold no glory, land, or family to our name and offer our lives whole to serve our kingdom until our dying breath. Interesting. These are executioners, so that's going to be terrible. They're probably going to be uh, a lot of fun to deal with. Up or down? Let's see. I, uh, let's go down. Ah, okay. It's going to be dark in here. Rats. Bastards. Rat bastards. Oh, no! Oh, I hate rats. There's so many of them. Is it like a rat pack or something? A rat nest? Oh, God, it's disgusting if it is. Die. Can't tell which platforms I can interact with, so I don't think this is an interactable one, right? Ooh, well, this is too slippery. Oh, no, no. Don't want to take any unnecessary damage in an area like this. Because there's surely going to be more difficult enemies here before long. So I want to save all my health while I can. Again, I'm thinking there's got to be some sort of ability that allows us to go higher. Right now, I'm just not having the luck with those jumps. Nice. Range, Gerard. Rats, damn it. That is disgusting. They come out of that little spawner. No. One, two, and it's dead. Let's go up here. Nothing, huh? No goodies just yet. Ah. Death will not find us here. We'll rot forever in this prison. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was cheap. We got some furious blight from that. Interesting. This area is about to be... F oh, that's right. We didn't get the, uh, the other blight that was on top of that platform. I was saying it's not gold yet. What did we... Uh, hasn't turned golden. I figured, what did we miss? But no, we didn't miss anything. Nothing that we can get, anyways. Okay. A little counter action there. That one seems... They seem like... Be, they seem to have a lot more health this go around. Am I right or am I wrong? Yeah, these enemies seem to be a little bit more beefy. Oh, lovely. My favorite. Indestructible sea urchins, of course. You can swim through those. Of course you can. Okay. 
So this is definitely an area that you would have to reach later in the game. Uh, obviously because you get this ability after you defeat the second guardian. So I think that it's only required that you defeat guardian Sigrid, uh, guardian Silva, Gerard, and all of the Mad Knight. Not in that order, of course, uh, but almost the same order. So I guess in order it would be guardian Sigrid, Gerard, Silva, and uh, all of the Mad Knight. And with those, you have free range to pretty much go to most areas. But then I think the next step would be uh, possibly to... Uh, let me see, make sure I don't get stabbed here. The next step, of course, is to do some additional exploration. That way you can uh, find this area, the stockade, and eventually, I'm assuming, explore the laboratory. And uh, hopefully then the abyss, because I think those are probably the last areas I need to explore. And I'm assuming that in some of those areas, that's going to lead us to a, a path to be able to find the true ending. Or to experience the true ending. Nice. I love that ability. I didn't even try to do it, but I didn't do it intentionally anyways. Oh, we're going to stay right here and just spam Dark Witchy Lane's ability. Okay, those guys typically have projectiles. Uh, this one has uh, toxic, you know, fumes that it spreads out, and then the other one had uh, just relied on melee, and that one was very difficult. He dealt a lot of damage, and that's how I got to Laboratory B one. I really dodged that. Ah, I timed that really poorly. Go ahead and heal. Good thing our, our we've had a bunch of priestesses wishes so. That increases our ability to heal, you know, exponentially. Is this all the same path? <laughs> I'm a little confused. I think it all is. So let's just make sure I backtrack a little bit so I don't know. This would be the other path. Okay, so we're going to stay underwater then and just head to the right. Um, we'll end up circling back. You know how we do it. We typically go through... Either the lower paths first, and then we circle back around. So we'll do the exact same thing here. Again, this is another set of abilities I've yet to uncover, but once I do, I can only imagine that will yield great results because that's going to give us even more areas that we can reach. So I don't know if they expect us or what they expect us to have at this point, but. Ow. And good thing we can deal a pretty good amount of damage, whether it be in land or in water. So let's go down here just to make sure we didn't skip anything else. Because we did stop going towards the right. And we'll go ahead and counter. Real quick, did I? Yeah, that's right. That was its path. We're going to go back this way. I felt like I didn't go as far right as I could have um, down below, but we'll just check in a second. Nothing to report. If there's pathway through the water or somewhere around, this is where the rat nest was, okay. I'm gonna check one other thing you guys are gonna make seriously. But I feel like I forgot something down below. I thought there was a path for me to go a little bit further to the right. That that we just left, that staircase area, that's definitely the intended route to go to the next cell. I call them cells, but you know, the next area we can actually explore. Nice, okay. We got some stagnant blight that we would have missed out on had I just rushed through. And even so, we're still missing a secret from this area and that would be that pushulent wall that we couldn't break through just yet we can break through pushulent floors or platforms but not the walls just yet so I can only imagine that maybe the uh, the guardian in this area since it seems to be such a large area it's gonna have a mini boss and a guardian possibly this is where we get that ability nothing here 
All right, so this seems to be like another respite. Let's go ahead and have a seat. We are now in the dark chamber. So there's nothing over here. So we have three pathways. Let's go down to the left. Just more my style. Water, okay, cool. <laughs> Got a pustulant wall there that we can't break down just yet. Let's read about it. Executioner's missive. Prisoners set to be executed will be taken to the subterranean lab and handed over to the King's Mage Brigade. Fifteen have been named as test subjects. Dark executioners entering the verboten domain must do so in groups of three. Huh. So prisoners were sent to the subterranean lab, which we've actually been to, and handed over to the King's Mage Brigade. Fifteen were test subjects, and any dark executioners entering the area had to do so in groups of three. Okay, you know what's funny? Whenever I went in there, as difficult as that area was to traverse, um, I did actually encounter some... Mm, they kind of seemed like... They reminded me a lot of Voldo from Soul Calibur. Uh, they were enemies that were kind of like ninja-like, and then they had uh, these, you know, th these bladed claws. And maybe those were the uh, executioners, right? Who knows? Let's go to the right. We're not going to go up just yet. That'll We'll kind of connect all those paths here before long counter all right who's this guy he's got some wicked range even these little fools oh god maybe these are executioners oh I don't like you oh I was trying to counter but I didn't and then I was like let me switch to Gerard that didn't work all right, let's try that again. It was over here, right? Okay. And then we're going to switch to... We're going to counter this fool first, kill him. We'll go this way. Before we go to the top. Those enemies are incredibly difficult um, and powerful, which I like. This game has a really good uh, difficulty to it, you know. Pretty much to beat the game, you don't have to have done too much or ex experienced too much difficulty, but if you are playing to find every single thing, you are going to be in for a treat because there's a lot of difficult encounters you're going to have to face off with. What did this do? <laughs> Is that the best thing to do? Does this make you go back up? It does nothing, okay. Yet another one. So I can't use Olve's claws to scale that wall. There must be something preventing it from getting through, so let's go ahead and go back here. Oh, he just fell in the water, which is fantastic. Uh-oh. I don't like that. Ooh. He's dead, too. Well, those guys are tough. Secrets. Come on, Gerard. Hit him harder. Hit him harder. Poison. We got an amulet fragment. And another amulet fragment. <laughs> I will take it. I'm not picky. Alright, so we got that secret. That's good. So this goes up. Hopefully it doesn't take us to a new area, which I think it will. So then what is over here? There's something that I'm definitely missing. I don't think I have the ability yet. There's got to be something that allows us to jump higher, and I don't have it. So uh, we'll go ahead and just... 
Oh, maybe it's a puzzle. Perhaps not. Maybe not. We'll check that out in a little bit. If for whatever reason this is a blue cell that remains blue, it's because we did not explore good enough. So let's go ahead and head back up. I think we called the elevator. We'll take it right back up. And then I guess we'll head to the... Whoa, there's a lot of paths. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh, what am I doing? They fight just like old. Ah! Die. Okay, jeez. These guys are terrible. There are like 55 pathways to take. That's great. So six. I don't like it. That's too many. Too many options. I don't like that stuff. Nope. Damn, okay. Time to focus. Okay. This area is awesome. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I can open this that gate. Maybe if I go up now at this point, uh, if I head to the right, that'll allow me to open up that um, that iron gate. Okay, I gotta... So there's like two attacks they do here. That, okay. I gotta get better at dodging that one. I think I accidentally baited that bad guy. Whoops. Oh, my heart. Good thing they are not very strong, but... Well, they're very strong. They just don't have a ton of health. Okay. Gerard's the way to go with those guys. I'm not counting these fools, that's for sure. Of course. Die, fool. Okay. We got the stagnant blight. Whoopsie doo, Basil. So that didn't connect. Not in a way that I thought it could. Okay, so. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, he has a lot of strikes. Okay, this guy's playing for keeps. No, why aren't you dead? There's a bunch of mimics down here. That's fun. These are a lot stronger, too. Okay, wrong button. Wrong button. Give me that. Everybody's stronger. <laughs> Significantly stronger. Alright, down we go. I think I've been... Uh, I was used to getting... O I was used to being overpowered. <laughs> but only it only lasted, you know, eh, about uh, a stream or so. Now everybody is pretty much as powerful as they were whenever we were still scrubs. No, don't hit me. He teleported through his astral space. Okay. Back up we go. We know there's a path there that we can't reach just yet. I gotta remember these guys' attack patterns. It's like, they can do up to three strikes. Okay. 
Come on. Cletus. Alright, so I can't. Oh my gosh. I can't open this one just yet. Those guys come out of nowhere. That's an. Oh my gosh. These must be the executioners, which are essentially like ninjas. Okay. Which is awesome. I thought they were gonna be like uh you know axe wielding kind of fools. And dead Okay. No? Okay. Get my ass handed to me. There, jeez, okay. We're going, whoa, nope, nope. Die. Those guys are still one shot, and that, that makes me quite happy, actually. No mimics here. I need a chain of sorcery, please. Wait, 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 okay. Why are there so many freaking pathways? There's that. I don't think I can enter here, right? Okay, I was like, please don't let me. So I can go in there, which I probably will end up going here in a moment. Can I scale this wall? I cannot. Son of mother. Okay, so we're going to go down. We'll head this way instead. And then, like I said, we'll start working our way up. So many passageways here, though. This is a duel we can break. Oh my gosh! It's blinded! Alright, I am so mad at you. And he's still not dead. No, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Go get some stagnant blight. Hell yeah. Go. Oh. Okay. Wow, that is terrible. <laughs> don't tell me. I was say, don't be a little mime. That that urn was a bit darker than the others. I'm like, let me make sure that's not gonna come to life. Go down here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Rats. This is like my worst nightmare. So pretty much I have to know about that area and fall and slam down. Why are they so strong? This is disgusting. Oh, there's so many of them. I need to go ahead and kill the next nest. Go away, please. I am not liking this. Oh my gosh, where's the stupid nest at? I hate rats. They really freak me out, man. Okay, it's over here. Oh god, they're everywhere. I have a terrible, terrible, terrible phobia of mice, rats, and any kind of freaking rodents. <laughs> Yucky. Okay. Um, let's go to the right first um, and see if there's anything that we might have skipped. God, it's terrible. There's so much stuff everywhere. So that means I can go here, here, here. There's definitely a path up and to the right because that's kind of what this little unexplored area thing indicates, that little red dot. So this must be a path. It's fools. What? What? Oh, an arrow, of course. The damn archers. These guys are so accurate. <laughs> okay, that's the way out. But what does this button do? Okay, so let's go ahead and do something fun here. It's going to be right there. Just a little bit here. So it's about three seconds to the left. I know it sounds weird, but... And die! 
Oh gosh, more rats. Got some furious blight. I'm gonna die. I'm still gonna die. You know, we need a relic that gives us like heal uh, over time, even if it's minuscule. Is this gonna be? Oh, you're terrible. Okay. Let's go down really, really slow here. He's just not gonna... Ooh, he tried it. He tried it. All those mice are just hanging out in the water. That's so disgusting. And of course. Please hit the festering thing. Why wouldn't you hit that? Oh, please die. Okay. Oh, gross. Okay. We're, they're gone. Now I gotta be very careful because they're really uh, difficult to spot in the water. Where am I? <laughs> what manner of sorcery is this? Okay, that's fine. You go right ahead. I died! Okay, that's fine. I'm thinking this might be the area that leads to that uh, that underwater area that had those wooden platforms that wouldn't come down. Maybe, right? That's what it looks like to me. Alright, let's go back this way. We'll switch so we can counter this ability over here. This little merman. Okay, 67. Okay, should be a second executioner looking bro over here. Oh, you're dead. Okay, cool. Up we go. Yeah, I was connecting to that area. Nice. Okay, so <clears throat> at least they all are intertwined. So let's take a look at the map. So essentially from okay, the respite that we're currently at, we've got all kinds of pathways to get to. That probably, If we go to the left, that probably circles back to the beginning respite of the, uh, the stockade area. So that means we need to continue on to the right. You bastard. Okay. That's another area we can enter. Where did I go last time? Did I go left? I feel like I've gone somewhere different each time. Alright. Up we go. And really, the only path we have is either directly to the right, or we can go up and enter the, uh, I guess it's kind of like a, looks like a dungeon or prison type area, to be honest. Nope. Okay, perfect. Good for us. Alright, so now that we've gone this way, we can go back down. I don't gotta be super careful this time around. Oh gosh. heal that's okay we'll go ahead and uh, 
break all these little vases for the additional little health it gives us, but now we have full health, so it doesn't much matter. Let's go ahead and head back to the right, clear out these guys, and then we're going to circle our way back down and around, because this is what gets fun. <laughs> he has, like, no limit to how far he can dash. Anime dash activate. Nope. Damn it. Ran right into him. Okay, that's the end of this area. So we need to go down. You see the guillotine in the back? The executioners took their job all too seriously. Oh yeah, chain of sorcery. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh gosh. No. These rats can end up dealing quite a bit of damage. If they if you let them surround you. Okay, so, if I recall correctly, we just went down again. No, we're not doing that. Good shots, sir. They're very accurate when they just lunge at us. Um, let's see, this is definitely a way to get down there. Well, let these guys jump, hopefully. Very good. And what about your friend? I need him to jump as well. There we go. Tactics. Where's the nest? That's my question. It's gotta be nearby, because the rats are just coming out of nowhere, seemingly. Maybe not? Okay. Hmm. This is definitely the area that we were talking about, but I am unable to get past that, that's for sure. Well, we've been there, so no worries. We're not going to fuss about that too much. We can cut back now, and we can do some more exploration further to the right. So we're going to safely make our way across here. I guess there wasn't this spawner. There was a little rat spawners. A little rat nest thing, which I am okay with. I mean, there's this one over here, but that didn't explain the ones that left. Dead. Dead. Okay. Oh, you're not going to let me, are you? One, two, jump. And then we just have to go around the old-fashioned way. We'll get up on this little staircase here and jump on these columns. And hopefully not get shot by the... Legolas, oh, he's incredibly accurate. That arrow, if that would have kept going, he probably would have hit me. Ooh, I thought I was going to be able to beat him to it. There is an archer off screen, so we got to be pretty careful about that. Almost got shot in the face anyway. Right, I forgot those guys are still one shot. That's good. A little break here. Ooh, I don't have the range, huh? Damn it. I thought I dashed. But because I didn't uh I wasn't holding a direction, I just blocked instead or guarded and uh I was just sitting as a sitting duck. So Alright, let's go back. Um, back to the way we were. All right, here it goes. We're going to switch to the Headless Defender so we can deal with this uh, merman. Go ahead and defeat him. We'll head back up. Switch to Gerard. Gosh, those, uh, we've got we to avoid that silly damage if we can. 
like that. That silly damage, okay. The fact that he teleports after you kind of, you know, already dash, it's super, super dangerous because you can actually be teleporting into his sprite, which of course in this game deals damage. Because that is just the logic of these kind of 2D metroidvanias. It's usually, hey, you touch an enemy, you're going to get hurt. Ooh. Dodge one shot. There you go. It's so satisfying. You can still kill the one. Um, we're not gonna go this way. We gotta go the other path. What are we thinking? One, two, one, two. So it's four shots for them. Uh, there should be a an executioner around here. I'm assuming that's what they are. They have to be, right? Because they, they, you know, they kind of move like uh, very stealthy and robe roguelike so I'm assuming these guys are definitely the executioners I could be wrong all right we'll continue moving on this way one two Ooh. one two so four shots oh gosh I forgot about him your little friend one more he's dead Okay, that wasn't so bad. We still have two heals and a pretty decent amount of health. Gotta just manage these enemies. Get them out of reach. Good for us, okay. That was a decent decent clearing out there because normally we get our asses handed to us we're gonna go ahead and bait him he does that lunge it used to be my favorite attack because we'd get behind him and be able to deal quite a bit of damage but man has that changed breaking these is going to grant us some additional heals Disgusting thing. They're everywhere. I dashed right into that one. Where's your little friend? Okay, I guess I killed him. So we're going to go around. We're going to kill this archer this time. I don't want to get tagged by him. Just to play it a little safe. Ninja guy over here. Another one. Dodge. Dodge. One shot. Okay. We're doing better. We're getting better. Okay. Damn it got creative with the strikes and those don't that downward smash doesn't deal as much damage as an aerial slash or one that's uh you know from a grounded position so that cost me one heal I have to break through that it's fair enough mm -mm. perfect all right Let me try something. I think there might be a secret up here. So let's, oh, no, there's not. Can't really traverse up these walls, but there is a path up above us that I can only imagine you can reach from uh, the cells once we go up and to the left again. Because, again, if, we, if you look at the map, there's from that golden cell, two cells over to the left. You can probably go up and to the right. So there's going to be more pathways. Uh, I can only imagine that this area right here is just another path for us to get lost in. <laughs> But we're going to keep going to the right. I didn't see a pathway down that we could actually access just yet because we can't break the pushlet barrier with just uh, 
uh, from a jumping position. We have to get from really high uh, and drop down from a really high distance to be able to break through those thicker barriers. Honir's Diary 2. My dear sister was unaware of the dark executioner within our family. I wanted her to have nothing to do with it, to live a normal life, but when love blossomed between her and the king, she discovered the truth after moving into the castle. She must have hated me, but there is no way for me to know now. She passed away upon giving birth to Julius. We're going to rest here at the new respite. This is the execution grounds area. If we take a look here, uh, like I was saying earlier, I think that the dark chamber is going to be an area we're going to have to revisit because there's a few pathways there. Of course, the aqueduct is the opening area to the stockade, so uh, we'll be traversing back a little bit. I do think that from this execution grounds area, we're probably going to be facing off with the boss here soon. <laughs> and that is scary because he's probably going to be pretty tough. He or she. That's probably Honier. Yeah, it is the boss. Oh, this is the execution grounds. This area is awesome. Honir, Keeper of the Abyss. Wow. Oh, gosh. Damn it. There's so many of them. And they're, they're not any weaker. They're just as strong as they normally were. Oh, my gosh. This isn't dealing any damage, so this means... They're going to keep coming. I will always dodge you, boy. Where are they? They haven't appeared yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is a sneaky bastard. But he doesn't... If you think about it... It's not him that's very difficult, it's just the fact that you have to dodge those, uh, these mobs. Oh, you bastard. Okay, we're doing this. We'll heal. We can keep dodging through this. We'll do this all day, Honir. No, I don't want to call you Honir because you're using these ho tactics. Oh gosh. We are going to heal yet again. Wish I could get closer to him. You're good. Oh gosh. Alright, seriously, bro? I had to clear these mobs. Die, please. Oh, you're fast. It's too fast for the, uh,. You have to time it perfectly to hit him with uh, Gerard. Much better just dash through, to be honest. Oh gosh. Oh no, okay. Oh damn it, okay. He is cheap. We only took away about, you know, a quarter of his health. Um, he is no fun. But I'm going to tell you right now that the... Ooh, Gerard is just a little bit too slow. He's incredibly fast, so being that he is a ninja slash executioner, we're going to have to use similar tactics. Ouch, I was trying to jump past that, it's okay. That delay that these uh, executioners do, oh, not these executioners, I'm sorry, these, uh, well, they are executioners in a sense, but it's, I think they're just, instead of the nimble ones, 
they are the uh, the axe wielding executioners. We're gonna try and avoid the mobs. Um, and do our best to just dash through his knives. Ooh, and not do that. Oh god, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm dead. He's gonna be fun. But again, Umbral Knight's the way to go. What we're gonna do is avoid the mobs as much as possible and uh, just focus really on dealing damage to Hodnir. Um, if we can time our dodges good enough and our rolls, we're going to be able to get past the strikes of his mobs, which are a little funny because they're a bit delayed. Um, and that throws me off just a little bit. Ouch, he just came back with a, the one-two punch. Ooh, I didn't get the range on it. Unfortunately, I stayed right in this distance. Right in the kill range. Let's go ahead and heal. Oh, gosh. Ooh, that was close. A little too close. We do have the Ancient Dragon's Claw, so it's fine if we strike in the air or on the floor, of course, while grounded. You know, the funny thing is, we don't. Honya doesn't deal nearly as much damage as his mobs do. I think we got a little pattern going here. Not so much of a dodge, but if you just jump and have the right height, you might be in a much better position. You want to save your double jumps to be able to stay right over the height that he would normally be throwing a dagger at and the horizontal slashes of his mobs. It's okay. He's getting really nimble now. The fact that he's just surrounded by his executioner mob, man, it's like, that is so frustrating. But, uh, huh, we're gonna win. I feel it. Gotta be very mindful of the mob, that's all. The mob is fickle. Being blighted, he sure is damn smart and bring his friends along with him. Ooh, I thought I was out of range. Damn it. We'll go ahead and heal. It's our last heal. If you strike at the right moment, it actually pauses your downward descent so you can avoid the knives. Almost have oh gosh, I was gonna say we almost have him to half health, but there we go. That range is incredible. Dang it. That does like 80 damage, which is uh, almost half of our health, so it's gonna take some practice, but I think we can get him. He's gonna give us, I'm sure, the ability that allows us to break through those push limit barriers or the ability that allows us to jump higher, so I think it's well worth the wait and the effort. I'm so glad that their strikes don't, uh, oh! don't attack, you know, don't, they don't do a, what they call like a follow through and strike you from the back, because that would be terrible if their slash went all the way horizontal, that'd be terrible. 
this fool over here is not playing nice. most you can get is two strikes out of them. And I would love to do this one no damage. I'm just a little bit uh, uh, nervous to see what his next form is about, you know? What is he going to throw at us whenever he's been damaged enough? And it might be that he doesn't have a transformation because he's already using mobs, but... I'd be damned. I'm, I'm fairly certain he's going to use them. Just because every boss so far has had a number of phases, up to three phases. There's usually a second phase where they deal, you know, they open up and gain some additional attacks, but they don't necessarily. Um, oh. Dead. They don't necessarily transform physically. The physical transformation occurs like either once they get to no health, uh, quarter health, or half health. Very rarely do you see one any earlier than that. This guy is a pain in the ass, that's for sure. Three hits, finally. You know, I'm curious if I were to try the same strategy, but with Honier. I don't think he... Ooh. Let's go ahead. So my Umbral Knight is doing about 100 damage per strike, but Gerard does like four times that. So I'd like to try the same strategy that I've done, that I've been implementing, but with Gerard and see if his, um, if, if I can actually hit him. You know, his movement pattern and uh, range is a, it's a lot different, so see if I can actually hit him. Yeah, very slow, so it's going to be a little bit tougher. It might not be fast enough. Ooh, that's going to be really tough to hit him like that. I had a far superior hit rate when I went the faster guy. Let's see what this does. It's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same, to be honest. The um, Olves strikes are a lot faster. Jurods are just, they're just too slow. So it might be best to stick with, uh, let's see, Umbral Knight, I suppose. Getting you, bud. Oh, God, he got me. He got me that time. He got me. Shit. We're going to heal and then jump right back into it. Getting tagged up, that's for sure. We'll heal again just to have full health just to top it off because I feel like I'm going to do something stupid here. I did. Alright, we're just going to keep chasing this fool down, that's for sure.
it's really like ah really timing your fall so that you don't fall in line with those stupid horizontal slashes of these guys the two-handed execution fellas Form. Oh gosh, okay. Nope, he's uh, he's really aggressive now. He does a little uh like really super anime type attack. What the heck? Okay, that's not good. I don't even know if that hurt me, but it did knock me back really far. That hurts. See he doesn't deal a lot of damage. That actually doesn't deal damage, which is perfect. But in general, he doesn't deal a ton of damage. He just kind of upsets everything with his crazy movement pattern. Yeah, he's quite difficult, and we're not doing any damage. I'm so glad that doesn't hurt, because that thing is almost impossible to even uh, read. No, no, no. We don't have any heals left. And we're about less than one shot at this point. Uh oh, that was close. No! Okay, that was awesome though. He did defeat me in excellent ninja fashion but okay so let's think what can we upgrade to deal the amount of damage we need to deal um, because I can hit him a lot I just don't deal a lot of damage with umbral knight so I don't think we have an ancient soul that's a little too slow yeah I don't want to burn through any of that stuff You know what? We're going to stick with the Umbral Knight. He's done us, uh, he's never failed us thus far. He's going to be paying the ass to defeat on my, uh, my guide, my boss guide. Honir, Keeper of the Abyss. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, gosh. Got me. Let me tag him in the head. One, two. Dash. Dash. One, two. Oh, I tried to dash through that, but I failed miserably. I need to heal because if I get hit by any of his cronies, he will die. And one of them is invisible. That's awesome. One, two. So far, I'm pretty happy with this uh, this attempt because although I'm getting tagged up here and there, uh, I feel like I got a bit of a pattern down. You know, um, I felt it the first you know the first time I started just jumping over the enemies as, as opposed to dashing through them, and I feel like we're gonna keep kind of reaching that uh, getting you know getting that same momentum, kind of getting that uh, pattern down. I think the key will be understanding his next phase. 
and how to dodge or predict that silly strike he does when he jumps up in the air and shoots out or throws three knives at the same time. That is a little bit difficult to read. And uh, that right there, you know, unfortunately, we're probably going to get hit by that, but it doesn't deal damage, so that is actually really nice. And to be honest, sometimes it gets us in a position that at least we're out of damage, you know, out of range. What might be best is when I see him jump in the air, it might be best just to block. Just stay away from his back, that's for sure, that too. Oh, okay. Knocked his back. Of course. Ooh, the other one got me. I didn't even see that he was winding up just yet. That's unfortunate. He does jump forward, so it kind of frees us up a little bit. Gets us out of range of the other enemies. Just enough. I mean, it's not the safest attack or path to go, but if we go forward, pretty much if we go towards his back when he's jumping up in the air, we know that we're going to be out of range. Let me go ahead and heal. This is our last heal. We got him a little below half health, which is excellent for us. Go toward his back when he jumps in the air because we know we'll be out of range. Don't worry about that. We're just going to go ahead and just kind of reset, reset. Go back and find him again, our little friend. That was terrible. I jumped right into that one. We're going to reset again, hopefully. And I think it gives us a little bit of iframes, even though we get knocked back like that, which is great. Because I would hate to take damage by just getting bumped into one of those enemies. That would be a little too cheap, even for this game. Towards his back. Ah, I jumped right into that one. But again, he doesn't deal a lot of damage, so as long as we just don't keep getting hit unnecessarily, we should be fine. I jumped, unfortunately that's kind of a response for me. I typically uh, dash. Uh oh, he's gonna transform to the big boy form in me. Yikes. Mm -mm. Okay. Is that all he does? Okay. So he's just super fast now and aggressive. If he does that crazy uh, jumping spinning attack, I am going to cry. Oh no, okay. Going towards his back when he does that jump again. Ah. I chased him because I'm getting greedy. No! Okay, so he's very, very. This is very doable, okay? This is something that we can do. Again, he doesn't deal a ton of damage, so we have to take advantage of that. We just have to dodge the mobs, most so. Most importantly. And, um, you know, we did take a lot of unnecessary strikes uh, from those knives. And that's just something we can easily dodge. It's not him that is really the problem. He's He doesn't do a lot of damage. He's just got a lot of health. It's just mobs that are the problem. Oh, I jumped right on his freaking head and that hurt me. I was thinking he was going to throw knives for a second. I was in phase two, bruh. Where you at? Oh, I got double, double dipped right there. That sucks. See, all this is a ton of unnecessary damage. I just don't need to be taking. Cause these guys are not that hard. But if what's what you know the problem with this boss fight, or not a problem, right? The difficulty with it is. You're focused primarily on Honir because he moves so quickly. But the other enemies, as they're winding up their strikes, whenever you're dodging them and repositioning, that's whenever they deal the most damage. So as, as you just saw in that last bout, that last attempt was terrible because I was only managing Honir. I wasn't really focusing on the mobs at all, and that was my problem. You got to be aggressive, but enough to dodge the rest of these strikes, so. Dodge. So he 
he's trying to wind up. So this is better. I didn't see that guy wind up. That's okay. I gotta use my audio cues too, though. He's winding up. This one's winding up. Got everybody winding up right now. Everybody wants some. I just fell right into his face. That's fine. Go ahead and heal. One, two. Fortunately, all the mobs were just separated out, so that guy's winding up. This one's probably going to start. We got another guy winding up. So just I'm going to keep kind of saying that so that I remind myself. So I'm very mindful of the enemies that are trying to strike me. We got one winding up over there. Wind up. Alright, we're pretty much in the clear right now. I got hit by that fool. That's okay. Guy to the left winding up. Guy to the right. Jump over. Jump over. There's just too many mobs right now, so... Gotta get in the clear again. Too thick right now. I mean, he's buried in, in his uh, in his mobs. Definitely not a good time to strike. You just want to reposition. Or make him reposition. Better yet. Got a bunch of them winding up right now. Wind up. Dash. Dash. Strike. Hopefully get two strikes in right here. Okay, one, two. Good. Now we're getting a little rhythm back. Dodge. These guys are no fun. Uh oh. Oh, okay. He's doing that thing, isn't he? Oh no! We had a bunch of heals left too. I wasn't managing my uh my life very well dang it okay that's okay we got into the second phase at least uh, we're gonna keep trying it's only a matter of time now so we're getting closer Jumping through all his mobs here, just trying to get two strikes in every time we can. Every time we see someone wind up, we're going to just dash away from us to get safe. Or in a safe distance anyways. Wind up, so we got to oh, be mindful. There. It was hard for me to determine what to do. I was like, well, should I guard? What should I do here? Got tagged up again. That's okay. I'm gonna try and get two strikes in, make up for that damage that they, we that we took. I'm gonna heal. We gotta be mindful of our health, cause again, that time we were so focused on the enemies, we weren't paying any attention to our health. So it's a lot of balancing, you know, you got to make sure you're managing a lot of things on screen at the same time. It's these crazy di attack patterns, you know, you have the very fast strikes from Honir, you have the slow but powerful strikes from his mobs, and then of course you have your life to manage. Manage your life. Two winding up right now. One, two. I'm trying to hit him twice every time I can. So I'm going to do my best to continue that little pattern here. He's going to knock me back, of course. Always head towards his back whenever he's doing that little ouch. That, uh, that jumping attack where he throws three knives at once.
but be mindful of any enemies that are trying to strike you. Like the one to my right, for example. Because if you head towards his back and you have someone winding up, it's a lot better to get struck by his knives than by these enemies of the axes, that's for sure. He actually throws four knives. Ugh, oh, there he goes, trying to create some distance here. He's still back over to the right. Left's winding up, this guy's winding up, so we're just gonna jump. We're not gonna use our dashes just yet, not until we get behind them. We're gonna dash this time because we need the iframes. Nice, we jumped right behind him, which is perfect. Ooh, he knocked us back that time. We gotta be careful. Wind up, wind up, and we got struck by a knife. Let's go ahead and heal. some distance again he's he's getting nervous that's all he's just being shy they're both winding up so we gotta be careful there got to do it to the left winding up we gotta be careful there we're kind of surrounded by him at this point so I'm glad he knocked us out of range, to be honest. He gave us a little bit of respite, no pun intended. I'm going to jump back towards him. Then do a little ninja jump, make sure no one's winding up on us. Okay. We got to make sure anybody that was trying to attack us has kind of finished their attack patterns. Stay over here. He tagged us. That was kind of a cheap one. That's okay though. I'm gonna jump back over to the right because he's trying to avoid us. He's very shy. Be careful there. That's unfortunate. We're gonna go ahead and heal. Because I actually bumped into one of the sprites. Looks like he's in his final form. We're getting tagged up like a mofo. He's gonna knock us back, do his strikes. Ooh. That's actually pretty fast. Um, I wonder if I can actually counter that. He's a lot faster in this form, and I just died. Yeah, that's that's a tough um, a tough phase when he spins around like that I'm gonna see if I can counter that next time again um, if we do better in managing our health and not getting any damage or not taking any damage in that first you know phase but or, uh, the first phase is fine but the second phase is really where he starts getting me face me oh I almost got him We're just focusing on hitting him right now. Unfortunately, we touched the enemy sprite and we got we took some damage. One, two. Hit the sprite again. One, two. Keep you on your feet, Honier. Dash over here just to stay safe. Because they have a very uh, strange uh, range, like one that you just wouldn't predict. Like it is incredibly, uh, it goes way further out than their actual weapon does. So I guess their slash is just that good. Oh gosh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, retreat back and heal. Nope. 
jump, slash. This guy's trying to strike me, and then we'll slash him twice. Took minimal damage, but we did have to use a potion, uh, a prayer, so that's unfortunate. But and again, we took a lot of unnecessary damage in that encounter as well. That guy's winding up. We're dead. Yeah, I there. I got caught in between, either dodging his uh, knife attack or taking an axe to the face. And I chose option B. All right, let's see. I'm gonna switch something up a little bit here. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I haven't used my projectiles, and I like to see how how useful those are. I've been using just primarily the uh, the uh, Umbral Knight. So let's see how effective the projectile is whenever he's out of range. Maybe not in this phase, but. I feel like it's going to target the wrong enemies, that's the problem. I was trying to find a way to inflict a little bit more DPS, you know, and I have an idea, actually. The next time what we'll do is we'll have um, Guardian Seagrid's attack. That way when I'm floating above him, I can start off with her attack and then hit him with the uh, Umbral Knight, of course. Chasing you down, Honu. Need to be able to block that a little bit better. I'm going to try again. chase them down but I, I have an idea that I'm gonna have to go ahead and try out that next that next strategy out because this one's fine it just takes a lot of time because I'm not dealing enough damage just chipping away his health you know So glad it doesn't hurt. His sprite doesn't hurt me whenever I. Ah! Whenever he jumps. Of course. Okay, you're damn nice, bro. Oh, good. Gosh, okay. Oh, I forgot about phase two. <laughs> Alright, you know, so um, a bit of a modification. I think I'm actually going to try to do, to use Honier. I know he's slower. I know he's slower. I know he's slower. But um, I can deal so much more damage. And if I start striking a little bit before I jump in position, I can deal enough damage. So, one, two, three. That didn't work. He somehow tanks those for some reason and hits twice when he does that. It's like when he gets hit with draw, he's like, oh yeah? I can hit you too. Took a lot of damage from just touching the sprites. It was fun. Jeez Louise. I'm gonna stick with my old strategy, huh? Yeah, he, he kind of stays there for some reason. 
don't like that at all. Yeah, I don't like that at all. His, uh, his behavior changes pretty significantly whenever he gets hit with Umbral Knight versus Gerard. So, that's weird. But this seems to deal more damage if I can actually hit him. So, it's worth four hits, right? For some reason, I wasn't able to tag him up whenever he was here. Stand up, and then... As long as he's throwing shit. Ouch, ouch, ouch! Got him all there. Okay, see, he takes. He throws another knife, which really, really upsets the pattern that I had with Umbral Knight. still tag him up pretty good so yeah we're gonna keep using this this method although it's a lot more risky actually stuns him a lot more so that's good just missed he throws two knives that's so strange isn't that crazy how he changed his strategy up just because we did that's pretty awesome I'm going to kill you. Do it. I don't think he likes that. Ooh, you cheap little bastard. Okay. He's not liking it because I figured out how to use Gerard against him. He's like, my only weakness is getting hit with a giant hammer. up over here. Damn it. Okay. No, boy. Oh, gosh. If that knight didn't hit him, he would have been toasted. Oh no, I walked into one of his little friends. That is the most dishonorable death. That's okay though, we're gonna beat him here in the next two tries because um, I've got his number. Now we got the timing down with Gerard Strike. I can't believe that just happened, that's fine though. That's fine. He's just mad because now we know we, now he knows he's gonna lose dodge Alright, so yeah, we got the timing down. It's a little off sometimes, but if we can get a little bit above and behind them, then we can typically get most of our strikes in, so that's good. Really good. Oh, 
Oh gosh, I fell right into that one. That's fine. We'll heal. Because we've taken way too much damage there. Alright, we're going to jump past his cronies. And get knocked the f back. Head back over to him. Whoa! That was close. Almost got tagged by him. Oh, I hate when he does that. He's getting angry. He's getting real cheap because he knows he's gonna lose. special strike either but that's fine he's got to stay consistent here he's gonna turn into a super saiyan form now oh gosh okay of course ouch So aggressive. I'm pretty much like two shots from him or one shot from any of his friends. Oh no. We beat him. Kamehameha! You're dead, Honir. I'm relieved. The White Priestess is safe. Yeah! No thanks to you. Please give me something that I can break the Pushlet Barrier with. The all-swallowing blight flowed out from the earth around us. I took the Priestess, once of no consequence to me, in my arms and we made our escape. Chased by blight fiends, we wound up somewhere most morbidly ironic. Fate delivered us to the execution grounds, a place I know all too well. And something happened that day I never forget, as long as I live. The white priestess of the fount, down deep in the verboten domain, she who carries the burden of blight who saved everyone I care about. She called out to me for help, saying, I, who bear the burden of blight and suffer for your people, I have one humble request. Though our roles differ, we each are tasked with serving our kingdom. We are devoted to its protection. To that end, I must ask that you let no one violate these grounds. Interesting. Honir, Keeper of the Abyss, launches a blitz of dark blades to shred the enemy to pieces from a distance. Their short range is made up for, for oh, made up for with speed. Head of the Dark Executioners, a man of few words, Honir shadowed the Knights of the Bastion. He loved the kingdom more than any other. Executioner's hook. Nice. When near a hook point. When chained... The, I'm sorry. The chained hook of Honir allows one to hook and swing from certain points. Jumps and dodges can be performed after using the chain. They're everywhere. Oh my gosh. These little points that I didn't even know about. That is lovely. Umbral Knight says... 
So the white priestess of the fount is even deeper underground? The verboten domain. Interesting. Oh man, this is awesome. Yeah. So cool. Oh, this is great. That's too good. That's way too fun. I wonder if the white priestess made it out of here. Oh, hey, we're going to make it to the hinterlands, the the place near the ending. Ooh. Let's see. One, two, and dash. No. One, two, dash. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. There is a secret here. I wonder what it might be. Oh, a little priestess. Umbral Knight. With the Dark Executioner as an escort, they must have traced similar steps. It can't be long now. Not even more. A priestess's wish, a fleeting wish, left behind by a white priestess at the moment of her death. Oh, poor thing. Goodbye. Excellent, okay. Oh yes, the surface beckons at last. So if we were to head to the right, we would actually beat the game again, which uh, no need for us to do that. Let's try out our boy. Damn, he's fast. Let's fast travel to... Uh-oh, that's not what I want to do. The execution grounds. Um, let's go to the dark chamber first, actually, and then go up. And then uh, we've got plenty of gold cells we need to explore, so damn. Damn, damn. Okay. Oh, blue cells that we need to turn gold, that is. So from this area, uh, we'll head up and... Uh, kind of start clearing out these areas and see if we have what it takes to um, make these cells golden and find all the loot. We should have a lot of abilities now that we didn't have before, so. I love that. Oh! You tried it, didn't you, bud? Oh, I died down here. You're a jerk. Okay. Oh no! You are too. Okay, you're dead. I'm not afraid of you anymore. Okay, so we got that. Where is the path I'm trying to go? It just says to the left. I don't remember this area. Oh, hey, there it is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Probably some goodies up here, right? Nice. Oh, gosh. She kind of falls a little bit. You gotta be very careful there. I'm dead. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Not dead. You're dead. Okay. We got the chain of sorcery. This area is now golden. That is a very strange, it's very intuitive, but it's a very weird move set. And we got all the, uh, that cell is now golden, so we got all the loot in that area, perfect. Go ahead and open this up. Kill him while he's down like a boss. Okay. 
What do we got up here? Oh, that's right. There was uh, this area up here that I couldn't actually explore all right. No, actually, I actually haven't been here. What am I talking about? No. Before the reign of death, this place must have held many of the afflicted. No. Dog. Nah, you're evil. I can go through there, which I'll end up doing later. I'm going to go through the passageways a little bit later because there's so many. One, two, cha cha cha. Gosh, those knives are incredibly powerful. There are so many different passageways to take here. It's fine. Nope. Something about short range, my ass. That's got really decent range to it, to be honest. Plenty of areas that I can enter there. Oh no! Let's dodge these toxic clouds. Funny thing is, I think I've actually been here. True story. This guy gave me two amulet fragments, did he not? Might have been somebody different then. Yeah, maybe it's a different area. Oh, no, it wasn't. Because I remember this pushing barrier. Okay. Up we go, up we go. Is this something over right here? Nope, this is the damn rat pack. Oh my gosh, they're chasing me. Is this another rat pack over here? No, no, okay. The fudge. Let's go to these little passageways. Then. Oh my god, I almost fell. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go in here. Oh gosh. So mean. <laughs> Gerard. Save me. Some bad gameplay. Is this another chain of sorcery? Yes! Yes, indeed it is. Love it. Okay. So we are done with this area. Let's go to the left and go into this cell. He's, Umbral Knight said this is where a lot of the afflicted were kept before the rain. Huh? So the rain of death definitely helped transform a lot of the people into the blighted, but I'm curious if what the, who the afflicted were prior to the rain. Forbidden text scrap. Many attempts have been made to create new life through magic, the creation of artificial life. It is thought that by guiding a spirit into the body of a baby, the baby would retain control of body while inheriting the power contained within the spirit. The creation of sentient rock foe. Probably continues to talk about it. So they're making golems, it seems. Or homunculi. All right, we're clear. we've cleared out this area as well. Let's go upstairs up above to the upper level and see if we can go ahead and clear out those cells too. I'm not so intimidated by this confusing mess. Oh, you know what? Let's try uh, let's try this here. It doesn't do anything. Okay. I still don't have the ability to break through those. How depressing. Oh, my head. One, two... I've defeated so many of you now, I don't even care anymore. The novelty has worn off. Get me out of here, will ya? Get that furious blight. We've cleared out this area as well. I might as well heal just so I can have full health. Um, if at any point I die, I'll just appear in the, uh, the respite over nearby, so I'm not too worried about it. So there's nothing in this area. Okay. I don't believe it. I don't believe it one bit. That's fine. 
there was another red area over here. It's the area. Just check it out. There's a mimic a few uh, jars over. Are you ready for this? Didn't even care. Oh, it's this cult. It's the secret experiment. This is a mini boss. <gasps> nope. He has a projectile. That hurt. <laughs> Don't scream at me, bro. That hurts really bad. He's dead, though. Whoo! He died just before we did. So those are actually experiments. That's terrible. I thought I could sneak away in all the commotion, and this is what I got. Sorry, little guy. The hidden test subject uses the urn holding the test subject body as a shield. Well-timed blocks unleash a counterattack on surrounding foes. A heroic bandit who was fearless and confident until he was branded a sinner and taken to the verboten domain as a test subject. Wow. There he would oft hide in urns to escape the twisted experiments. Man. And guess what? He ended up becoming one anyways. Wow. That is awesome lore there. So if you're looking to find out how to get that spirit, uh, look at the golden or the lit up area on the map. This is in the stockade area. Um, you do need to have beaten a handful of the guardians to be able to access this area, including um, Guardian uh, Silva so you can get the air dash. And of course, all of the Mad Knights so you can climb the walls. Once you get that, you can actually get to this area and you can uh, enter the cells. Uh, and, and this cell here that's glowing, you can defeat that spirit and you'll be able to get the hidden test subject spirit, which is kind of a counterattack. So that is insane. That is really cool. Be sure to check that out. And if you're enjoying what you're seeing, uh, be sure to subscribe as well. We would appreciate the support. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. My mini goal at this point is just to get to a hundred. Um, so it's slowly. You know kind of taking place and we're getting there but uh, it's just a matter of time so we'll get there i'm confident we will all right perfect really happy about the outcome there as well um let's see if we can save so we're just right off to the very entrance of the aqueduct so let's take a look at the map okay we're gonna want to go down to the right if i went to the area that has all the cells in it that's actually just an area that i can't really complete just yet or make golden and indicating that I've had all found all the secrets because um, the truth of the matter is um, I don't have the ability that allow me to break through so oh gosh damn rats he got me anyways all right so whoa we'll get this little stagnant blight here that should Turn this area golden. Excellent, it did. Which means we're awesome. Alright, let's go down. Oh my gosh! I don't know why I did it so far away from the nest. I thought I was going to be surrounded by these damn mice. They're chasing me. Okay. So we'll go over to the right again and hopefully... Oh, there's nothing else here. Oh my gosh. We're, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're going down, down, down. Little parry there. Or counterattack. We'll counter again. We just had to wait for the cooldown to uh, just kind of take place so that we could get all of the. or activate the ability again, so. That's the one thing, the cooldowns. There is a relic, and as a matter of fact, next time I go to a respite, I'm going to use said relic. We're just out of range of the toxic cloud. Uh, scary close. Stay right here. Wait till it dissipates, and then we're gonna go out. Okay, perfect. Whew. Perfect, I do like the hidden defender, or the headless defender. One of my favorites. Just because of the way he looks, and uh, I'd love to find the lore around him, too. Let's 
I would like to try the secret uh, test experiment as well and see how uh, how well that uh, counter works. As, and that would be really cool to test out. Once I get to a bench though, I am definitely going to uh, try and see if I can't um, not enhance abilities, but actually just try and equip some more relics. I'm sure there's a few that would prove very beneficial. Okay. What am I missing here? Where's my secret? Oh, this is the secret. Okay. Well, fair enough. Uh, let's go down then. This way. You know, I'm really curious. There's been so many of those little hanging, um, you know, what you call them, like those little hook spots, I guess, that we can actually hook to. And I didn't realize that uh, hook points. Um, but I didn't realize now that there are just so many of them. They're everywhere. And I just hadn't really paid attention to them, so <laughs> whoops. I think down and to our left on the map is another pustulant wall we can't break through just yet. So no worries. Let's see how many spots we have. We have plenty of spots open. Um, about six. So let's see here. What do we need to equip here? Slightly reduces damage. I wouldn't hate that. I like all of the ones that provide us additional damage. So cooldown times is something I was just talking about. Uh, that increases our healer our prayers by one, so we can actually do it four times. That makes the pre prayer um, kind of proc a little quicker. Aquatic movement speed and the SP gauge. Hmm. So I would say SP gauge is fine, and I wouldn't be averse to taking a little bit less damage. I don't really care to have an extra prayer. I mean, it's like at some point you just got to not get hit as much. <laughs> so there's still plenty of, um, of relic relic uh, chains of sorcery for us to get. So we have to be on our P's and Q's. Let's go to this area to the right and see if there's anything we can explore now that we're here. Oh, there's nothing to our right. Never mind. I mean down into the right. Get down. Okay. There should be a merman over here to the right. We'll counter and then we'll go ahead and dispatch him quickly. Come down here, kill this little evil plant from hell. I didn't know I had the uh, that the cooldown had finished just yet so I was a little nervous there cooldowns activate already so we're good I was a little tight a little tight so this area again I think has the stagnant blight so let's go ahead and counter this fool and kill him real quick okay there are bound to be hook points here Nope, 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 nope. Where are the points? Where are the points? Uh. Where are the points? I don't see any. Hmm. so strange. Okay, there's something in here that we just haven't got yet. It's fine. Oh, might as well activate this. Bring it back down, and then we're gonna go let's see, on the map. Up and to the right. Okay. There are plenty of passageways that we're gonna need to explore here. All the rest that we haven't been able to do yet is just because of the, uh, whoa, gosh, because of pustulant walls that we don't have access to just yet. Oh, I still don't have the passageway. Okay. 
Down we go. We're gonna go down over here as soon as it allows us to anyways. Right there in this cell. Oh gosh, let me change. Counter that real quick. We gotta be careful because there is a toxic cloud spewing fool over here. Dead. Whoa! I love that we have two special attacks now. That's fantastic. What? We got the Executioner's Gloves Relic. Increases damage dealt while at maximum HP. Very nice. Black leather gloves sheathed in magic. Dark Executioners once wore them as they performed their grim work. Seeing their insignia struck fear in sinners. So if you're looking for the Executioner's Gloves Relic, look on the map here in the glowing cell. It's very close again to the uh, the respites in the stockade area, past the aqueduct, of course. And uh, once you actually go into this area, just defeat the little flesh monster, and you will get this relic here. If I can get to it, called the Executioner's Gloves, and it increases damage dealt while at maximum HP. So again, it's on this area in the map. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. This cell is now golden, so we've explored everything we could here. So let's make our way back out. Ah! Of course. Actually, we have Ulv. What am I doing? Alright, so now we've exited this area. I can't go to the right, so um, that's fine. We're going to go up and to the left, I suppose. Well, no, we can't do that either because there is a iron gate we can't pass. Whatever shall we do? Oh, you're not dead yet? Come on, bruh. Bruh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Excellent. I'm so glad we came back here because I almost forgot about this area. These were the, uh, there should be a chain of sorcery or an amulet around here. You know what, fool? I'll just spam this for now. Upon successful hits, it looks like you get uh, your SP gauge filled up, which is awesome. Alright, what do we have here? Got another cell we can look at. Oh my gosh. Let's kill him this way. Just in case we land in a poison. Or a toxic cloud. Okay, perfect. A chain of sorcery. Excellent. We just talked about those. So it's granting an additional relic slot. We still have a bunch that we could potentially equip. I wonder how many cells or how many we're actually going to have. So that just would have been for movement, but I ended up just tanking it. <laughs> All right, let's go back this way. This is another locked door. We've seen... A handful of I think I have two there's one at the very beginning of the game there's one in the uh, the catacombs area and there's one here too so there's there's three that we haven't been able to access just yet so let's go in this cell it's another respite this is a creepy little respite it's called the cells so let's read about it Whole News Diary 1. On this day's dawn, my sister's child was born. A boy. Julius is his name. The king's ooh, illegitimate son. Born into the family of a dark executioner. His life is sure to be one of much hardship. He will undoubtedly want to know where he came from one day, and so I have resolved to begin this diary so that he may find answers when the time comes. Wow. What a great uncle. Okay. That's unfortunate. So that's what he said when the, he said something about the the king taking uh you know taking interest in his sister. He wasn't playing. I thought that she was that it was a legitimate relationship. I didn't know he was having an illegitimate relationship with her. That's not really bad. Homie, don't play that. Let 
One, two. One, two. Dead. Okay, I love how strong Gerard is. Gerard. You still. You doing your three piece. Your three piece combo, aren't you? Yeah, you are. I can't break through. That's so ridiculous. So many secrets. Let's go ahead and heal. Whoa, man. Hold on. Whew. Okay. Let's. Whoa. Gosh. Slip of paper. As one of the Dark Executioners, I imagine you are well aware of their verboten domain well below the stockades where the Blight festers. I have heard that the King's Mage Brigade has been going in and out regularly to survey the area, but something doesn't quite add up. I don't suppose you know what they are up to, do you? Well, we know from the other uh, memos and uh, missives on that there were several executioners down there, and we know that the King's Mage Brigade was actually responsible for conducting experiments on some of these prisoners uh, in the verboten domain and that no one was ever to go alone even the executioners were supposed to go in packs of three uh, for safety reasons so i can only imagine that they had found the blight started messing with it and then it ended up um getting out of hand maybe this is where i believe the king at that point when we found the uh, in the last stream the king found a child it was one of the ancients it was these white priestesses so I believe they found them and uh, when their experience with the blight this was the only answer so they had to steal from the ancients um, and the funny thing is that the ancients curse is the blight so it's kind of a secular thing huh? ow 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 alright you're dead bro So, interesting, interesting, interesting. Is this the area where that dam... Yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. Where'd you come from? Let's go down real quick just to see if there's anything we missed. Oh, I didn't ever go this way, did I? Seriously? This is the guillotine? I think I did, actually. And this is where I was like, damn it, there's more passageways? <laughs> oh, gosh. Come on, baby. What? Get what? Okay. I'm going to kill you so hard. This. Oh. Okay. We're good. I thought that would deal so much more damage because Gerard's just a beast. Ooh, we found a relic though. We found Aura's Ring. It increases spirit uses. That's awesome. We already have one, some, something similar. But Priestess Aura kills with the Barrage of Blight. It's been ages since someone has been able to awaken the ring's, ring's power. <laughs> it, that's what it really says. <laughs> My wife's looking at me like, why? It says it's been ages since someone has been able to awaken this ring's, ring's power. That's what it says. So if you're looking for the rings ring, it is on this cell in the map. So if you're looking to get some additional spirit uses from this relic, all you need to do is go to the area on the map. So this increases spirit uses, which allows us to essentially do more abilities or use more abilities. Uh, it takes three slots, so it's, that's a pretty expensive one, but no worries. So look you there on the map, and that's how you get this relic, Aura's Ring. It's a really cool item description. Okay. Now we're going to go... Oh, let's go down, actually. I've never been here, so I want to kill everybody. Because I'm angry. Let's get this blight. This disarrangement. 
No, the derangement. Is it blight? Or purely instinct? And we have furious blight right now. We got all the loot in this area, which is fantastic. There you go. So we don't have what we need to destroy that push. Oh, actually, we probably could. Let me, let me, let me give it a whirl. So this is definitely a pathway that we haven't explored yet, but what I'm trying to do is see if we can't... Let's kill this fool first before we try anything, and then we're going to go here. Okay. We didn't quite have the oomph. There you go. No! Okay. Let's go down. That's a mimic. That is two. How terrible is that? Okay. Couldn't tell what the Umbral Knight said because I was about to die. But it says something about him being in prison for a while. But pick up the... Oh, ancient soul. That's what we need. Used to enhance the Umbral Knight. Powerful residue... I'm sorry. Powerful residue shed from an ancient people unlike those of the kingdom. Allows for the Umbral Knight skills to be enhanced at respite. We're going to use that. One second. I'll be right back. Back at it. So, Ancient Soul. I thought this would come from somewhere else, but that is awesome. I thought it was going to come from actually the, uh, the you know, like a major boss enemy or something like that. Like maybe the true boss um, for the true ending kind of deal. But that is, you could be farther from the truth. Seriously, bro? I need that. Verboten. Oh, let's go ahead and, and uh, sit at this bench here. This, again, is the execution grounds right next to the actual boss. Um, we have cleared out all the areas that left. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this cell, and we're going to go up. Oh, you know what? I'm such a fool. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade our uh, Umbral Knight. So we're going to go to Enhance, and we are going to... Use the Ancient Soul to enhance the Umbral Knight. I can't believe that uh, there's actually more. <laughs> How are there more? Ancient Souls. There's supposed to be more than that. You're kidding me. He already has a three-hit combo, so I wonder what more they're uh, referring to there. But that's fine. We'll find out. Ow! course trying to test you out umbral knight and here you are let me check something real quick oh i can't okay never mind that was sloppy 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 okay now we'll go to the right and see what goodies this area has Okay. They locked the gates on us, so there must be some more bad guys over here. That's the three-piece combo that we love so much. I'm going to beat you to it. How big is this area? Oh, 
good strike, sir. Not another one. Okay, he's dead. Oh my god, I was not ready for this. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that was a nice combo. He teleported. Oh my gosh, the Dark Executor. That's the first mini boss that has defeated me in Mortal Kombat. And we're gonna make him pay. Um, let's see something. So one thing that I didn't I didn't really feel that the Umbral Knight was enhanced much. I mean, gosh, as as much as it takes for him to actually uh, get heal, I mean get enhanced. We found one item in our entire playthrough that is incredibly uh, lackluster. We'll go in and clear these guys up. I can't believe I just got uh, destroyed by a mini boss. Ah, he changed direction way too fast on me. Cheap. Yeah, they're getting real cheap. Incredible. <laughs> He's like, ah, my leg. All right, no more playing around. We got to get through this. All right, time to focus and kick ass. Like so. That's much better. That guy's really keeping his distance for some reason. Making it really awkward. Fortunately, he's dead. Okay, perfect. That was a lot cleaner. There's going to be a dog around here somewhere, right? Maybe. The fact that he can charge up and then teleport is dirty, dirty, dirty. But he can't get knocked back by Jirai, which is great. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. good. died again that's twice in a row that's insane okay he's really good uh, Gerard's pretty slow but he does quite a bit of damage we're gonna stick with him um, this is just a mini boss so we'll be able to defeat him this next time we're just getting sloppy and I didn't heal I definitely could have oh. didn't want to get shot by those arrows there I'm so glad the projectiles don't go into the next screen that'd be terrible Very 
pretty good. Really happy with the way that this whole uh, attempt has kind of turned out. Aside from getting my ass handed to me by a Bell's Fool. The fudge. It was excellent until one of these uh, executions just came out of nowhere. All right, there should be another one, maybe a dog, I don't know. Ow. Dark Executioner, you don't play games, and I like that. Pretty much uh, the hardest one we've faced so far because he's very difficult to counter or just dodge in general. But now he's dead. Third time's a charm. I want your ability, man. So the Dark Executioners were both the ninja and the ones that were more, you know, true executioners with the dual wielding axes. Let's purify this buddy. I didn't get to read what he said, but. I don't like him. The Dark Executioner faces behind an enemy in visible range and brings down their blade on the unsuspecting victim. That's nice. The nameless Dark Executioner trained in fierce competition with Knight Captain Julius since their childhood. The blood of the sinners coursing through his veins kept his dream of becoming a knight from ever coming to fruition. It's unfortunate, bro. Didn't have to be such a jerk. So glad we cleared out most of this area now. Uh, I'm trying to see what would be next at this point. Whoops. Oh my gosh, that was too close. Let's go to the left and see if this is an area that we can clear out. Okay, never mind, sorry. He's gonna hit me. Ridiculous. The angle was just so off, that's my bad. Hopefully some of these jars can heal us. I don't quite like that. Mm. Oh, I can't go through that's right, okay. So what's down there? What are, what are we missing down here? Goodbye! Was it over here, maybe? Yes, it was. They're verboten domain. We should never have come here. You're probably right, my friend. Messing around with this crazy stuff. Donking around. With ancient curses and stuff. You know what I think the blight is? I doubt it's... I bet it's less of a curse than it is like some sort of... Uh, like a true affliction, you know? Like some sort of uh, sickness or something, you know? And it's probably just from those ancient peoples. And their... Ah! Their flus are a lot worse than the flus of these people, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like... Maybe the sicknesses that they got were just, you know, that was pretty standard for them, but for regular, maybe humans. I'd consider these people, not these people humans, but I imagine before they were blighted, they were humans. And I feel like maybe this affliction completely transformed them, you know? Yeah, it's all the same area. Okay. Oh, gosh. Fair enough, fair enough. Woo! So now, 
that area that's actually oh gosh up here I can't even access access yet because it's one of those locked doors whoa bro it's okay if I die but I don't feel like dying I'd rather survive and get to my point and I'm definitely gonna kill the archer I will not die by an archer's hand is this the save point if it is it's perfect because we're gonna fast travel The Dark Executioner. That's so cool. I guess I didn't show you guys where to get him, but... You guys were watching. Okay. Um. Trying to see the map just to figure out exactly where I need to go next. Imagine these areas. So we're going to go to the Witch's Hermitage because I feel like there's something here that we definitely missed that's keeping uh, us out of range. <laughs> Let's keep going off to the right. Um, I thought, oh, they, see, there you go. The fact that these things are here is super exciting. You're dead. I can reach you. I can definitely reach you. So excited because I don't care if I take the damage or not. These guys are a lot weaker. And we are so strong. In this area, anyways. So we can kind of show off a bit, right? I'm just kidding. Ooh. So, oh gosh, I almost died. Uh, I think I could actually climb up this area last time, but this. Of course this I could not reach okay so let's go yeah well let's go here first oh that's a whole nother area okay well damn it we're going this way then where are we let's read about it we are in oh this is Elaine's diary something made me happy so I want to take this chance to write it down I was able to see Fretia today for the first time in a long while the effects of purification were so severe she's been bedridden for some time I can't believe they quarantined her in such a place. They're treating her more like an experiment than someone on the mend. I can't even enter without a mask. I'm not sure how long I can stay, but I want to be by her side as long as I'm allowed. It must get lonely here all by herself. Dang. So I'm not sure where they were keeping Fretia, but she was getting sick because she continued to purify the blight. And they had at some point then quarantined her. So that is uh, interesting. Poor thing. Okay. I'm trying to get up this wall. Okay, I can't. There's a relic over there, though. Let's read this as well. Elaine's Diary 2. Today, Fretta gave me the necklace she was wearing. It was a gift from her mother, and I can tell she's cherished it for a long time. It's a protective heirloom embedded with a magic stone. The stone seems to have broken when Fretia purified the Blighted Lord. I'm sorry to say that my magic alone may not be enough to repair it. I'll have to ask that fool Faden for help. We've got the Spellbound Anklet Relic. It slightly increases movement and dashing speed. Nice. An enchanted anklet made by combining strands of magic thread. The Blight makes it difficult to walk. And so the Black Witch created this for the White Priestess of the Fount. Please don't be a, a mimic. The Amulet Gem, max HP plus 20. A magic stone used to create an amulet worn by a White Priestess. Grants increased protection from the Blighted. If you want to know how to find these, uh, all you need to do is go to the uh, the Witch's Hermitage area. And in this cell here, you will find two relics. Uh, and I guess two treasures more so. Uh, but the first relic... And the most important one, I would say, is this right here, the Spellbound Anklet, which increases movement and dashing speed. So that's actually worth uh, a definite uh, re-equipping uh, re or kind of rearrangement of the equipped relics. And then, of course, you can get an amulet gem, so that's really cool. I think, is, am I stuck now? No, I'm not, I'm not stuck. So all I had to do was go left. Lovely. So now we have to work our way back around and down to a new area here. 
We gotta find our way down safely, of course. So we don't jump in the blighted water like we just did. Take this elevator, and off we go. Here we're just kind of doing some cleanup, you know? Let's see, is there anything over here? It's probably gonna be this way, right? This one down. Oh, it is this way, I remember. Oh, yeah. One, two. How are you not dead yet? I had to scratch my belly, and that's what happens. Ooh. So, what the donk? Another switch. How does one get there? Oops. That's insane. How do I get there? I am confusion. So, there's no, uh, no hook to go off of. That's another, that's one of the, I guess the fourth locked door. I didn't even realize there's so many. Actually, let's fall down. Let's go ahead and head down. Well, I'm a little perplexed now. What is this? What is this? I'm like spider manning over here. No! I'm back. This will take us to the respite so we can fast travel. And here we're just doing some additional cleanup, trying to find out. What's up, Jared? I just saw you. Message. Man, I'm just playing this game, dude. Just I've We've gotten to uh, beat the game, the first ending, actually. It's just kind of a boring, neutral ending. And then we just most recently uh, defeated a Dark Executioner. We got a grappling hook, so now we're just going through... And trying to find all these secret areas that we couldn't get to last time. So I'm actually just kind of doing some backtracking, some cleanup. Before I end this stream, just trying to uh, kind of figure out what all secrets we can get right now. So hope you're having a great night tonight. Let's see here. So we're going to go back to the very first cell. And one of the, actually in, in the very first cell, if you just head to the left from the point that... Uh, What's her name? Lily wakes up from. There's a secret door there, and that's I think going to be the fourth, uh, maybe the fifth locked door. I haven't unlocked any of them just yet. There's obviously some sort of switch or something that I'm not aware of, but we're going to figure it out. And I'm just trying to look for any secrets in these beginning areas because it's going to be pretty easy for us to uh, have missed them without having any of these movement upgrades in the first, you know, opening moments of the game. So. Okay, we're going to go up here. So there's clearly some sort of secret in here. It's another path that we were just unable to explore previously, so we'll check it out for sure. It's nice to be able to one-shot enemies every once in a while. All right. Oh, gosh, almost ran into him. What I'm looking for is any, uh, any points that I can grapple to and all that. I don't see anything just yet, so... That means that there's something in here, though. Let me check. No secret pathway here. It's got to be up there, but I don't see any grapple points. So maybe that's something we come down from. I don't know. It's 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 kind of hard to say. Um, I, there might be some additional movement abilities that we don't have yet. I know that we still can't break through those pustulant walls. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do is find another area, which is probably going to be another guardian that allows us to break through. And yeah, see, we're going to be stuck here. So another um, locked door. So at least we know of about four locked door locations. Let's see. Too bad that's not a respite because I would like to fast travel from there, but it doesn't count as a respite. It's just where we started. So we'll keep moving through. At this point, we have quite a few movement upgrades. So... Unfortunately, there's no grapple points from there, so it's probably going to be one of the very last secrets you can get, which makes sense. It's kind of one of those uh, Hollow Knight type games where you know it rewards you for going back to areas that you couldn't explore before as soon as you get new abilities. So 
very Metroidvania. And it also reminds me a lot of Salt and Sanctuary, which is one of my uh, my favorite games. This is definitely up there, though. The game mechanics are just so solid. The difficulty is just perfect. Because you can beat the game with relative ease, but if you're trying to get all the secrets, you are going to be in for a challenge. It took me quite a few tries to defeat the, uh, the Dark Executioner, the Hoenn. Uh, he was a... Uh, Quite the bastard. But we got him. Alright, so let's fast travel to another point then. That was, uh, unfortunately, that didn't prove very successful. So we're going to keep going down this way. Um, see, the cell to the right and down one, it, that red dot shows an unexplored route. But that's not going to... I don't think that's going to be something we can use a grapple hook on. So we're going to go to the bridgehead and see what was preventing us from moving forward there. There's got to be another area that's large enough for it to house a guardian spirit that will give us a new ability. So pretty much like a boss level character. There's Gerard. Look at your body. <laughs> All right. We're going to keep going off to the right here. And there's going to have to be some grapple points that I just never noticed before. And I think that's how we're going to be able to progress forward. Hopefully. Ooh, I couldn't scale this wall last time, that's for sure. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Okay, this is a brand new area. We're like in the castle now. Oh, so cool. Okay, we can either go this way. Let's see. Let's go to the right first, and then we'll end up going up. That's a mimic. Ooh, okay. He's going to play like that. Couldn't even see what the hell I was doing. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. Another one of these pushulent walls we can't break through. Man. Okay, that's fine. They're teasing us at this point. Let's go. Let's kill these ravens. Okay, down we go. I want that in my life. Hey, there's a... Uh, this is a little mini boss, not quite the guardian spirit that would grant us a new movement ability, but eh, she's dead. What does she say? It is most gracious. Okay. Lily. So it must have been a maiden uh, that was transformed into one of those uh, feral wolf creatures. Let's see. Castle Town Maiden. Summons the spirit of the Castle Town Maiden who strikes enemies she finds on the ground with melee attacks. Okay. The maiden was tending to her dog when the rain came. The dog nuzzled up against her body in the rain, never again to leave her side. So that is pretty cool. Um, kind of even gives a little bit of lore or insight on what the blight does. Like the rain of death seems to combine and create different life forms because there was another, uh, another being and he's called the Elder. One of those big brutes, and he was actually near his livestock whenever he changed. Do you see that over there? It's going to be a secret we're going to get to some way. I'm determined. Gotcha. Oh, gosh. These ravens are just so annoying. That's right, what we're going to do. Oh, I missed. Okay. Woo. There you go. A little counter attack. And we got him. We got the Priestess's Doll. Nice. That's a relic. Okay. So increases the maximum number of uses for the healing prayer by one. Okay. A doll made for the White Priestess by a, by a girl from Land's End. Set to honor the Priestess who saved the kingdom while defending the Bastion. Cool. So increases number of uses. So if you're looking for that, um, that relic, it's going to be in this location right here on the map. I just want to make sure you guys see this um, because anybody that's watching, if you're wanting to play through this game yourself, you'll at least know how to get to the Priestess's Doll. So there you go. You have the map location and how to get it on screen. These are Minotaurs. Never seen those guys before. All right, and these guys don't play. 
good thing about Gerard's attack is it kind of leads them, and whenever they're running into it, you can just kind of lead them right into it because um, he sticks behind a little bit. He's got a real slow animation, so if the enemies are running towards him, it can just walk right into that. Oh, goody. Oh, gosh. Okay, these guys are... <laughs> these guys are too fast. They're like the Headless Defenders. They have the same shield, anyways. Okay, gotta get behind them. Gotta bait them, and then we'll hit them right there. Okay, perfect. These guys are crazy. Let's go ahead and heal. I know we have, like, half health, but gosh, that makes me nervous. Going into a new area. We're gonna dodge past. Oh, what? <laughs> what? I just fought his bro, and he used a spear. These guys actually can turn back. This is gonna be terrible. That's like my strategy, is always to come in behind. Okay, those guys are terrible. Good thing is we do have the hook. So we'll be able to get our, um, our prayer back here. We got another amulet fragment. So our health is getting really, really uh, maxed out at this point. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> this is my first playthrough, actually. I, I did, um, well, this is my my casual playthrough, I'd say. I uh, I did beat the game in this really abrupt ending that just came out of nowhere. Um, but this game is one of those that makes it to where you get better. <laughs> so you will suck at first. And then it's gonna it's gonna punish you. You're gonna die to some of the easiest enemies, and then eventually, you're gonna start getting better. You're gonna learn the attack patterns and figure out how to exploit weaknesses, things like that. So it's really rewarding once you get to that point. And um, I'm also trying to focus on just doing the best we can to get all the items. Um, one of my favorite parts about this game is it actually kind of shows you like a visual. Whenever you uh, unlock all of the secrets, it's like the style turns golden. I'm like, yes, that's so rewarding. And someone being someone like me that like loves completing games to the fullest, it's definitely super rewarding. So I'm gonna try and yeah, do, oh, I was trying to guard on time, get that guard timed perfectly, but I couldn't, couldn't quite nail it. Now these guys are more fun for me because they commit and they don't just change direction so quickly. So. Gerard's one of my favorites to use because he deals so much damage, and if you just counter it by getting behind them, you're pretty much in a really good position to get past that really slow windup that he has. What we're going to do is we're going to explore the uh, the lower areas of this cell. Um, I know that there's secrets we can look at up top, but I like kind of going in a in order. That way I know exactly what I'm doing. So we're going to go down first. And see? Because we found a respite, which is perfect. So now if we die, we don't have to go through all those areas again. Let's see. Oh, this is a little puppy dog. All right. So, which area is this again? It is called the the ruined castle cellar. So we're actually in the castle. This is different from the twin spires, which is further to the right. So let's check this out. Report from a verboten mage. We have learned that under certain conditions, the regenerative rot in the bodies of the blighted is capable of fusing multiple life forms into one. That's what we just learned by the maiden. Yep, we just talked about that. I'm curious as to what becomes of the multiple souls within the fused body. Do the souls merge as well? With this, it may very well be possible to create a soldier that can fly like a bird. The possibilities are endless. And I think that right there is probably what encouraged the, uh, the knights, I'm sorry, the king's mage brigade to start experimenting on prisoners and what they would call sinners. So, pretty interesting. I love the lore. Can't wait to uh, feature that in my... My main channel. It's going to be awesome. It's really cool. Um, because we saved, the enemies have, of course, respawned. So let's go ahead and take out the most mobile enemies first. The knight over there to our right kind of takes his time. So All right. Now we can take care of this guy. He's got his little AoE attack. Oh, gosh. We aggroed this buddy from afar, but it looks like he can't walk upstairs, so he's dead. He's doing his AoE attack. One thing about this game is you will learn everybody's attacks. hate when he doubles up on the strikes. 
really throws me off. We'll go ahead and heal. Alright, nothing here. There should I'm I'm anticipating that there to be a uh, a sorcerer chain here so we can get more or an amulet fragment and even another one, so now we can start working our way up. We found a respite that's really close by, so we'll go ahead and head this way. We can go left first, we can clean everything up here. Ah, he's just timing it perfect. There you go. He turns around a lot faster than those heavy knights, that's for sure. I need you to commit, my friend. One, two. Okay, he's dead from the fall damage. He came in hot. He's dead too. This one's so easy to dodge. They really have a slow wind up, just like Gerard, for example. I wonder if there's anything over here. No. Ah, okay. oh, that was silly. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, head back this way then. I'm gonna have to go up instead, up into the right. There was a, uh, a pushlet platform. I guess it doesn't really matter though. If it wants us to go in there, it's fine. Oh, this is it. You are too fast. Okay. We'll get this stagnant blight up here. Times 30, that's good. Good stuff. All right, so let's head back into this little passageway and see where it takes us. Oh, gosh, these are strong. Usually we can one-shot them. So, again, that, that's a really good indication that we're in an area that uh, we're going to get our ass handed to us here in a little bit. Because what happens is, um, just like we did in the last one, you can beat the game pretty quickly in using minimal abilities. Um, but... If you try to explore everything else, you're going to reach areas that require all of your skills and that's a combination of all the different abilities. So, like you saw earlier, we're one-shotting a lot of these enemies now. Even with Gerard, it's taking more than one shot. So, there you go. We'll just keep working our way up these stairs. Thing is, unfortunately, I knock them back and then I can't follow up with my second attack. Alright, let's go left first. Helps me keep track of things. Commit. Nope, he didn't commit. He didn't commit. There you go. Oh my gosh, this guy is too fast. He's got like no recovery time. Good thing we have a lot of really powerful abilities though. Let me go ahead and kill this mushroom guy up here because that's going to be more of a pain than anything. Hopefully these aren't... Yeah, these take two hits as well. That's a joke. Commit. Alright, good. One, two, skip. Perfect. Okay, he's dead. So we're doing pretty good. This area is not that easy. And it's a little bit confusing to navigate. But I think we'll be fine. Has the castle truly fallen? It seems that way. Definitely seems that way. Oh gosh. Let's... Kill her first. That's a different attack. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. So we don't want to die. I never liked those, but they're she's pretty difficult um, in this kit in this castle for sure. She's got these range attacks she just didn't have before. Of course, I was mesmerized by the stagnant blight. Didn't even see she was trying to kill me. Now, this is what I'm trying to do right here. Let's see if this, I can scale this wall. I'm looking for secrets. Ah. Guess I could just go up the stairs like a normal person, but that would be too normal. One, two, dodge. I want him to turn around. There you go. Now he's going to commit. We can just take care of him like that. Perfect. 
Same thing with this guy. He did a really big lunge. So we'll be able to just kill him now. If we get behind him again, he's good. Well, those guys are a lot better. I really prefer them instead. Okay. This is just, uh, these are scalable walls, but not for... Oh gosh, now I'm stuck. Okay. We're going to do this. Perfect. Okay, so now it's just dealing with her. She's definitely going to hit me because she is... I can never really read their attacks. These are some of the most difficult enemies for me to read. Pick up the Blight Wreathed Blade. Nice. Increases the amount of the Blight experience acquired. A kitchen knife treasured by the castle chef. After the madness consumed him, the blade he used to take countless lives became wreathed in blight. I would love to face off with that guy. That is crazy. That would be really cool to actually um, see him as maybe a mini boss. That would be really awesome. One, two, dodge. See, there's almost like no wind up for that either. It makes it really tough to dodge. Let's go ahead and heal. Because she will kill us if she hits us again. Alright. We'll dodge behind him. These enemies do not play. They're super unforgiving. Are these one shot? Okay, good. They're, they're always one shot, which I appreciate that. After all the uh, stagnant blight and all that we've picked up, I like to be rewarded with a, a one shot kill every once in a while. It makes me feel good. Let's head back down first. Uh, let's see. What to do? What to do? I'm trying to figure out what path to go. That's fine. We'll go up. That's fine. I just don't want to get lost. I want to be sure that I'm exploring everything to its fullest. But we're going to go left. See where it takes us. See if it connects to the other cells. And see there's another respite. So that's good. Another good uh, stopping point. Another good reference point anyways. Let's see here. There's the knife. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, so we have this area, which there's a secret here apparently we need to get. And then we have to go straight to the right. Alright, fair enough. We can make it happen. Let's read about this. Julius's book. Julius is, of course, the, uh, the bastard son of the king and the uh, nephew of, uh, of Hornir, who we just defeated. The Dark Executioner. So, in order to defend the twin spires, we, we knights of the Bastion took the odd elixir and became undying today. I would much prefer if we didn't have to rely on forbidden magics, but even if it means making ourselves undead, we must protect our great nation. Even when stained with the blight, a knight must never lose pride in their duty. So, they would become immortal by doing this. So, um, they're definitely screwing around with some stuff, man. Some stuff that they should not have been messing with. I can imagine going down there is probably going to give us a secret, but. Um, I'm kind of hesitant to lose my spot, so we'll have to check that out, but there's definitely a secret in this area that we haven't got yet because the cell is still blue. We will, uh, whenever we're in a better position or when we've explored more of this area, we'll be a little bit more, uh, more risky. Ah, uh, I jumped right into it. I thought I dodged that perfectly, but I did not. Oh gosh, this guy's coming out of nowhere. But good thing he committed to that very slow strike, and he did it again. If I didn't take advantage of it, unfortunately, he turns so quickly. You pivot too fast, man. All right, what do we got here? Nothing. These are all the slow knights, so I should be able to dispatch them pretty quickly, but it's just that mushroom guy really distracts me. Okay, good. One. We'll dodge behind him as well, and he's dead. Okay, whew, we cleared out that area. I thought it was going to be a little bit tougher. I'm glad that we were able to clear it out that effectively, because I was a little concerned. I'm just so glad that they're not the fast knights, because that would be terrible. I kind of like to always focus on the projectile foes first because they can upset your balance and really uh, upset the rhythm actually and do a lot of un un uh, unexpected damage so fortunately these guys can kind of read them a little bit better because they're very slow but again the ones that have the range attacks the projectiles 
they're usually quite a pain, and I'm getting my ass handed to me right now, but that's only because I'm not focusing good enough. But there you go. That's why we save up the uh, the special for moments like that. Let's see. I can't go up here. For some reason, you know, I did get the uh, the hook shot or the grappling hook, and there's just not a lot of areas here that allow us to use it. So we'll have to find out how to get that at some point. I like this guy. This is the, uh, what are these? Not minotaurs. Centaurs. No, they're not. Which ones are they? Yeah, they're centaurs. Yeah. Half man, half horse. Okay, he's dead. Committed to the strike. These guys are so much easier to face off with. I wish all of them were that easy. Let's see. Are these timed gates? Mm, they don't seem to be. Okay, good. So there's no way to get through just yet. So we'll go down and we'll have to go down and around, I guess, to pull the other lever. I hate these guys. They're going to take more than. Okay, good. They still only take two hits. That's perfect. No! Hate when he backs up. Completely throws me off. Ah, touched him. Okay, fair enough. All right, so where are we now? I always scale the walls because there's been plenty of secrets I found by doing that. Um, let's see. And then we have this path over here. Oh, lovely. Okay, let's go around first. I'm sure we have to go up and around, but let's go down and around so we can find all the secrets. Commit. This is going to be an amulet fragment or a sorcery chain, which is going to this is going to increase our max HP, so that's good. Okay, we got that full down there. Perfect. All right. Ah, why would you do that? <laughs> that is not typical behavior for you, Mr. Knight. You know it. Ah, he's doing his AoE again. He did his little back. His bash. Okay, he's dead. Damn, he was being a real pain. Okay, had to get repositioned there. I was getting all... <sighs> My leg was falling asleep. Okay, so this is the way back up. Let's go ahead and kill this fool. Ooh, got hit unnecessarily. One, two, and he should be dead. All right, I'm just going to keep going down and to the left. Helps me kind of understand where the hell I'm at. Uh, is this insta-death if I fall? I don't think it is. We got some stagnant blight. Surprise is not furious. Okay, no, I don't want to fall down yet. We're going to go around then. No, 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 this way. All right, so we're going to go this way instead. And we're going to explore, you know, the right half of this area. Um, that guy's no fun. Two strikes should clear that one out. Those look like mimics. So those aren't going to be uh, a ton of fun to deal with. That's okay. go there you go he committed but I didn't hit him fast enough and he's pivoting like a mofo right now those are mimics man okay so let's switch to this oh they're not those are so dark usually when the barrels are dark those are uh, mimics but that's interesting Oh, he's so quick for his for being so damn big. He's really quick. I need you away from the wall, man. One, two. 
These guys don't turn around as fast, which is good. <laughs> but they have a lot of health. Oh, he got me anyways. We'll go ahead and heal. Can't believe I missed. Okay, he did the backslash, but he's dead. Alright, so let's go... Oh, this is not a pathway. Okay. And it's already golden, so that means we've already uh, secured all the loot. So, that means I guess we should go up one cell and uh, to the right. But I don't know if we're going to be able to. Because I just realized we fell down from a really high uh, height. So, I guess we're going to have to go all the way back down then. That's fine. This is fine. Goodbye, cruel world. Okay. <clears throat> Where are we now? Okay. This is an area that for some reason I didn't explore. I don't know how I got here. Or how I didn't get here. I don't think I've died yet. Um. Oh goody. Alright, another one of these guys. But he's got a friend too. Oh, I'm trying to use my special. Oh no, that's not good. No, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Damn it. I got cornered. I should have used my special again, but uh, that's okay. So let's see. Let's look at the map and figure out where we left off. So where did I go? Okay. I have to go right, right, down, right. Okay. Let's try that again. We're not going to kill every single enemy um, like we have been. If we get to new areas, of course we will, but I just don't want to keep slowing us down with this junk. If I can get through them faster. This is going to be a lockdown room. Okay, so that's fine. I'm going to have to kill all these. One, two. That's fine if I get hit. Unfortunately, those guys hit really hard. Get out of range. Make him commit to a strike, and then we'll get behind him. Just kind of rinse and repeat. Make him commit to a strike. Ah, we gotta get rid of the range guy first. That's the rule, you know that. Otherwise, it upsets the whole rhythm. Okay, did these gates open up? Nope, not yet. So now, we should have access to the right. Okay, perfect, so now we're out of here. We'll keep heading over to the right, and uh, hopefully we can get out of this area with little to no damage, so we can save our heals for this new area that we're going to be exploring. Ah, he turned around way too fast for me. Leveled up. Level 76 of 100. We're finally getting there one level at a time. Okay, we still need to activate the other lever. Ah, that was too close. Let's see if I can bait him over because I need to get through. But you know what? We'll just go this way. Oh, no! Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't want to get hit by that. That takes a lot of damage away really quickly, so... Got to be really careful there. Okay, so off we go. Going to the right again. And this is where we die. We got cornered here. We'll make sure we defeat both of these creatures as quickly as possible using our special ability. So... Okay, we're gonna heal. The big guy should be dead, and then he'll be committing. Okay, good. Whew. That was tough. Alright, so we got the Royal Aegis Crest. This increases maximum HP. 
the crest of an elite who defended the king. Even after the rain drove him to kill indiscriminately, the royal Aegis never forgot his duty. So this increases our maximum HP. If you're looking to be able to find this on your own, this is the, just check out the area that's glowing on the map. And you will be able to get this relic for yourself, the Royal Aegis Crest. It increases maximum HP. There it is again on the map for your viewing pleasure. So let's uh, make our way back out and up and see if there's another lever that we can pull. This guy's a little different. A blighted boy. Oh gosh, I can fire projectiles. These guys are freaking hard. Okay. They're like the giant tower knights, but unfortunately they have range attacks as well. Oh gosh, okay. One of them's dead at least. Okay, whoo, we took out both of those, uh, those blighted shielded knights. Those are terrible. And more iron gates. So there's plenty of switches here that we've yet to uh, pull. Let's go ahead and head up in this area first. Check it out. Good. We got another respite. Definitely needed one that's a little closer by. So this is the guest chambers respite. Let's read about it. Proof of founding. King's Mage Brigade is a division led by Faden, the foremost expert on the Blighted. To develop new means of fighting back, only former members of the Coven are granted enrollment. As long as the work falls within the realm of Blighted Research, there is no conduct that is considered forbidden. Good gosh. So Faden was uh, something of a mad scientist. A crazy mage. And... Um, you have to be a member of the Coven, and I don't think that Dark Witch Elaine was really a, a big fan of Faden, based on one of her, uh, one of her, I guess, etchings in her, in her diary. Furious Blight, yes please. So this area, we've explored all the secrets here as well. Oh, I know where I'm at, ha ha ha. I know precisely where I'm at, that's too funny. We're not going there, though. That's for sure. Instead, we're going to go back in, and then we're going to go over one cell to the left and work our way up. Oh, we can't. Though. Okay, that sucks. Please don't lock the door on me. I bet it's locked. Yes, it is. Ooh, good strike, sir. Okay. Ah, oh, I got hit in the face with a spear. The spear knights actually aren't so bad. I just didn't know their attack patterns yet, so they were actually uh, really bad at first, but now I feel like I can kind of take them. Not without great effort, but I can take them. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Guess we can work our way back up. Ah, there's no pathway. There. Okay. Interesting. No secret path either. Okay. Well, hell. Where to go next? I need to go left and up. So we're going to go left one cell. And this will probably allow us to start unlocking some of these other areas. Okay. Nice try. And let's see, what are we going to do from here? We need to go up.
And this is where, of course, those, uh, I'm not even sure what they're called. They look a lot like Guardian Silva, but we're going to dodge them, evade them, stay away from them any way, shape, or form we can. You know, I guess what we could do is go ahead and tag this little respite over here so we can uh, replenish our our saves. You know, let me see. If I fall straight down, it's going to take me, okay, back to the area I don't want to go to yet. So, uh, I guess we could try it. Is there a respite nearby, though? Not really. I guess I could just die. Yay! We got the... Decayed crown. Enemies will be more easily stunned by attacks. A crown of highest royalty worn by the king of land's end. Having lost its former glory, the decayed crown was forsaken someplace far from the castle. Interesting. That is really awesome. If you're looking to find the king's crown relic, all you need to do is jump off the respite <laughs> and land on a little spear. And you will find, again, the king's relic, or the decayed crown, sorry, that uh, allows enemies to be stunned more easily. That's really awesome. What does this button do? Ooh, we're back here, huh? Dodge. We'll go down, actually, and then we're going to go to this respite over here. And that will allow us to fast travel back to the exact place we were just at. So we'll fast travel back. Oops. Down, actually. To the Maelstrom Ramparts. Is that even the right spot? <laughs> I'm a little confused, actually. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, perfect. The Mouse from Ramparts. And there's still a secret in this area, believe it or not. Can't imagine what it is, but we'll find it. We will find it eventually. We gotta go ahead and defeat these guys, unfortunately. Still a handful of enemies over here to the left we have to dispatch. One, two. Right, he's dead. Now we just need to take care of his little friend, and that should clear out the whole area, right? be open okay good so now from this area we need to go up oh but I can't because we're still locked and okay so then I need to go to the right but I can't do that either <laughs> where how why ah staying away from you my friend Okay, so that means if that's not the right path, oops, get tagged up. I need to go to the left. And then there should be something here that I'm missing. Let's see. So there's a few cells here that we should be able to find the switches on. Just not sure what I'm missing yet. Oh, that's right. We already explored this path. We did go over here. There's this crazy lady. Hmm. 
Oh gosh. I think I was, uh, oh, of course. Got locked in here before. I remember this now. This place was fun. I got the uh, the knife from that area, actually, the blighted knife. That was a really cool. Uh, well, there's cool lore behind it. We actually came in here, too. Got some more stagnant blight, so that wasn't it. So curious. I guess we do need to make our way up. You know, matter of fact, there was a secret over there. I saw it. Chain of sorcery. Perfect. Now this area is completely considered explored. Fine by me. Taking all kinds of unnecessary damage there. That's also okay. This here is a very strange area. What am I missing? up level 77 now man I don't know is that the secret it is okay let me go back and defeat this knight up here and then I'm gonna whoa he's coming after me I did not think he'd chase me he's dead damn that was scary all right so this is gonna take some uh, some very Tricky. Acrobatics, but we nailed it. Got some furious blight. So I still have no clue what I'm missing, um, or what switches I haven't pulled yet. It's really confusing me. I'm, uh, I'm perplexed. But what we'll probably end up doing is calling it a... Uh, a night so that we can go ahead and pick it up where we left off this next time. What is over here? What, what more could I? Well, hmm. I'm pressing ZL as well just to see if I can't uh, grab onto something that's just out of sight, but I have no clue. That was really cool. I think we uh, accomplished quite a bit today, actually. All right, so I guess we're going to go ahead and uh, hide the UI and do our outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for those of you that did watch. And uh, it was really nice having you guys here on stream with me so I could get through the uh, most of these areas as we're trying to find the rest of the secrets and, of course, unlock the ability that lets us bust through those damn pushulent walls. We'll get there eventually, though. Tomorrow we're going to pick it right back up where we left off and uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. Of course, we will be posting more content on the main channel, the Inhuman one, and the sister channel, uh, Inhuman Universe, so be sure to stay tuned and check out those if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Today I defeated Honir, the Keeper of the Abyss. Today I found the Ruined Keep. And today I streamed Ender Lilies for your viewing pleasure. What the fuck have you done lately? It's the Inhuman one signing out. I'll catch you guys next time.